Hey everyone, welcome back to the journal. This is Rahul. Today we will solve another lead code problem that is product of the last k numbers. Mm -hmm. Here we will use a smart and efficient approach. In this video, we will walk through the problem statement why our approach is optimized and why this is this one efficient than other approach. At last we will write one efficient Java code. Then we will go through one example. We will demonstrate that how it's working and how we are getting the output in that way. So let's dive in. Before that, if you are new here, just subscribe my channel for more coding content and DSA things. So let's start. So here is our problem. Here the problem asks us to design a class product of numbers that tracks a stream of integers and it allows us to quickly retrieve the product of the last k numbers. Here as you can see we have two methods add num and get product. Here the add num adds a number to the stream and the get product it will return the product of the last k numbers. Here we assume there are always there are always uh, at least k numbers to query. At the same time we have to consider some edge cases right. First of all if the number is 0, number 0 is added the product of any sequence that uh, includes the 0 is 0. Then secondly overflow is not an issue as we guaranteed that all product fit into a 32 bit integer. Now Let's discuss about the approach that we are going to do in this one. Here we will use cumulative product means we will maintain a list where each element represents the cumulative product of all numbers up to that point. So if you want a simple, simple example means uh, I will just write here like if we have numbers 2, 3 and 4 ok so this will become after the cumulative product it will become 2, 6, 24 like that so this is the thing at the same time we have to check for we have to do the ha uh, zeros handling means uh, if zero is encountered we have to reset the cumulative product because any products including zero is zero right this allows to skip the unnecessary multiplication why this one is sufficient because instead of calculating the product of the last k numbers every time from scratch as you know it will take big of k times here we calculate it in big of 1 using division. So let's start with our coding part. Here we have our class product of numbers. Now we have to create one list in order to store cumulative product. For that I will use array list. Integer. I will name it as list. new array list and I need to initialize one variable to track the current community product and I will name it as prod with the value 1 and I will keep this one empty so because all initialization is handled by the instance variable so that's fine here now we have our add method with the input variable in the num uh, variable num so here first of all we have to check if the number is 0 if it is 0 then we have to reset the cumulative product list and the production to 1 because any future product cannot include past values so 
if num is zero then what you have to do just reset that one list is equal to new array list prod to one then return that okay if it is not zero then we have to multiply the prod by the new number and we have to store it in the list so production prod is equal to prod star num and add it to list okay once we have done this we have to go to our get product method here we have our input k first of all we have to check if the list size is less than or less than k or not if it is less then we have to return zero so if size less than k then nothing return zero then we have to store the last cumulative product in one variable and for that i will use answer list dot we have to get that list size minus one okay now we have to check if k is equal to the list size then nothing we have to return the entire cumulative product size is equal to k then return answer otherwise we have to return the product of the last k numbers using the division of cumulative product at beginning i mentioned one division thing that is this one return and dot what size minus one minus k that's it let's run this one it's working now let's discuss about the complexities at first here we are using two methods right here in this add method we are using big of one time complexity because we perform a single multiplication like that in get get product also there is big of one due to constant time division so total time complexity is big of one in case of space here it is big of n where n is the number of elements added so far this is because we store all cumulative products in this list why this one is better <coughs> so compared to new solution that will recalculate the product from scratch for each query would take big of k time per query here our approach is constant time big of one due to the cumulative product trick now let's go through this example 
at once so you will get more idea about this okay so here you might have a thing like in our output it's like null 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 20 40 0 null okay so why null is present here our product of numbers initializes the class and uh, it doesn't return anything so its output is null and secondly add is a void method so it means that it also doesn't return a value thus it also uh, the output will also get null and the get product calls return the actual computed value that's happening here now let's go through the step by step way we can do this example first add three okay so in our product list i will name it as cp okay I will name it as CP is it I'm sorry ZP is equal to 3 and uh, output null second add 0 here as we already mentioned in that coding part we have to reset it to zero so it will become zero and uh, our output is null then we have our next one to our cumulative product is 2 now and uh, output null then 5 so here it become cp to turn y right so it will multiply 2 into 5 so it will store turn here and uh, output null again another one is 4 so add 4 here the CP is 2 10 so 2 into 10 into 4 oh, sorry um, the last one into 4 so 40 and uh, output null then add 4 till that it is add now we will start with our get product okay get product of 2 means we have to get the product of last two numbers so it is 5 into 4 that is 20 so I will give PR it is 20 and our output is 
20 here like that and the get product is 3 so product of last three numbers so it is 2 into 5 into 4 that is 40 and output is equal to 40 now we have a get product for 4 here it will return 0 because the product includes the result due to 0 so the output becomes 0 now we have another one add 8 so add 8 and uh, okay so add it here the cumulative product become two 10 40 40 into 8 is 320 and our output is null now you have to get product of 2 Okay, here product of last two numbers, which means 4 into 8, that is 32, and here is equal to 32, and output is equal to 32. This is the way we are getting this output. Means once you write the output only null 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 20 40 0 null 32 so this is the way we are getting this output i hope you understand this let's submit this one yeah it's working fine so to summarize we used cumulative product and division to solve the product of the last k numbers problem efficiently here our solution handles zeros gracefully and calculates products in constant time. If you found this explanation helpful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more coding tutorials. See you next video. Till that, happy coding.